My name is Mary Petrillo. <laughs> I am 99 years old. My name is Iris Petrillo. I'm Mary's daughter-in-law. I uh, celebrated my birthday with my family. I was sitting at the table doing a crossword puzzle and the phone rang. In my haste to reach over for the phone, my foot caught on the table leg and I went sprawling. Well, there I was on the floor, excruciating pain, and I mean excruciating. I received a text message from my friend Jen, who is a nurse practitioner, um, and she mentioned that her grandmother had had a fall and she was in another emergency department and she had a femur fracture. She went to the emergency room. Um, I accompanied her in the, um, in the ambulance and they told us there, um, if she, we could either hope that it healed in an immobilizer or they could do surgery, but she'd most likely have a cast on and be immobile for about three months. Um, we were all pretty upset. We thought this would be the end because if she lays in bed at 99 years old, for three months, um, she wasn't gonna make it. She is a very active 99 year old who had been just dancing at her birthday you know, party a few weekends before. Um, and so she asked, would, is this something that you think that Dr. Toro can take care of? So I said, absolutely, let me give him a call, show him the pictures and see what he thinks and then we'll go from there. Uh, Mrs. Petrillo had a very challenging injury because not only because she's 99 years old, but because she had in the past a total hip replacement and a total knee replacement. And basically she shattered her bone right above the knee replacement. It happens that we do have a large experience in treating these kind of injuries. Few surgeons do this surgical technique. She was transferred to us. Uh, we made sure that uh, her medical condition was uh, optimized to go to the operating room. We had this discussion with her family and with the patient about risks. I felt very confident and we feel very confident that we can manage these kind of injuries. And she underwent surgery and the next day she was on her feet. She's, she's up, she's walking, she's doing her own thing, she's independent, which is exactly what she wanted and that's our goal. In 12 hours she was standing at the side of the bed. Um, she went through the rehab for two weeks, which was beautiful. She was doing so much for herself. She came home in less than two months and we are so grateful to Daphne and Dr. Toro and the whole team and Garnett Rehab and everybody here. We really appreciate this service and we want this to go out to families to know that no matter what age, there's still hope. I would like to thank Dr. Toro and the wonderful nurses and all, all the people that were involved in helping me. Thanks to Dr. Toro. I am walking. <laughs>